Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's Chico here. I love all kinds of journals. I filmed this video many days ago. I've just had a chance to edit it today on the last day of 2023 for many reasons. Okay, let's talk about our content. I'm going to show you my 2024 planner and journal system. I'll put the link and the detail about products that I used in this video in the description box below. I had two of these pretty girl. This one is a Hobonichi Techo Weeks English Edition 2024 Botanical Collection and is on Hobonichi clear cover. Let me show you the 2023 one for a moment. It is a planner, but I used it as my gratitude journal. On the monthly spreads early of the year, I did doodling on them. Later on until December, I wrote down keywords from my daily gratitude after each month has done. And here, the weekly spread on the left side, I wrote down my daily gratitude. On the right side, I used it for my self-talking for the most part. I really enjoy writing on Hobonishi Tomo River paper. However, farewell my 2023. I very much like this gratitude practicing system, so I continue it on my 2024 Hobonishi weeks. I'm going to show you my minimal setup. I put these monthly tabs from Diverse B Company on the weekly spreads. I will upload a video how I set up these tabs on my journals later. It already has two bookmarks, but I want to add more a little bit fancy on her. So I clip these adorable charms, one on the month that I am at, and another spare one on the note session. I like my setup a lot. Okay, moving on to my second pretty girl. But let me tell you my thoughts about my 2023 Hobonichi Tech 2A6 that I used as my planner and dairy journal. I like this A6 size. It's compact, perfect for everyday carry-on. I love the paper, but I don't like the quotes. They take away my writing space, so I switch to this common planner from Sterling Ink. It's N2 size, which is the same size as the Hobonichi Weeks. I love this size though. It's made from Tomo River paper, no quotes. It has main essential spreads, year in a glance, monthly and weekly spreads, and enough undated blank graph papers for daily journaling throughout the year. The papers are numbered. I did a pen test. It handled most of pens and inks very well. Since it's a thick notebook, 520 pages, it doesn't completely lay flat but breaking down the spine might help like this. I also put diverse B monthly tabs on the weekly spreads. There are 12 unprinted tabs left. I keep them for later. I also set up two gorgeous charms on this planner. I bought them from a local craft store Hobby Lobby. I will upload a video about these charms set up later. Here I clip one charm on the monthly spread that I am at and another one will be on my daily journal page like this. I purchased two Hobonichi pencil boards for weeks for these two girls. The botanical one for the botanical one and the twinkle shells for this caramel one. In 2023, I cut well on papers 
to be pencil boards for both of them. This is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Wish you all the best every year, every day, every moment of your life. Until next time.